I love creating content with Canva. And in this video, I want to show you three hacks to speed up your content creation. Hi, my name is Natalie and I help creative entrepreneurs create money-making content that leads to fabulous products and services. I love using Canva for all my visual content, whether it's blog post images, Instagram carousels, Pinterest pins, all kinds of things. And there are some really cool hacks out there for Canva that make my content creation faster and easier. And today I want to show three of them to you. And if you stick around to the end, I think you will really, really appreciate how much time the third tip will save you. First, I want to show you how to quickly create multiple sized images. Let's say you want to make images for this video for Instagram, LinkedIn, Pinterest. You might have heard of the resize option where you make a design, you go to resize and then you pick another sized post. Let me show you. Okay, so this post is sized for Instagram. Um, if we now go to resize, we can either pick our own width and hide, or we can uh, look for a specific design. So for instance, right now here, I have Pinterest pinned, Instagram reels, Instagram stories. I can also scroll down and see all these other options here. And if you wanna look for something specific, like LinkedIn, it will show you everything that it has. And you can click LinkedIn post, for instance, and click copy and resize. Now, the one downside to this is that, and I'm using something else to show you, is I click rock, copy and resize. It's not, the design is not really flawless. Like I need to make my own changes to make this work. However, did you know Canva can also make different sized images for you all at once? Okay, so hack number one, here we go. If you go to the homepage of Canva and we click on social media, you have this button called Quick Create Collection. We click this and then we get started. And now we can say what we want to create. So we want to create an Instagram post, an Instagram story, a Facebook post, a Pinterest pin, and a LinkedIn post. And then we click continue. Now we can add our text. So let's say three hacks to speed up your content creation. And we can add additional text with Canva and then we click continue and then we can click one image and a logo if we want to. So I'm going to pick a logo. So you can either look through like this or you can upload a image and then we click continue. And now we have um, a choice of templates and um, it will show you elegant or simple or fun. Um, and you can look at what you want. I like this one. And then we click continue. And then you can uh, see your uh, the original palette of this post and you can click your own palette if you have that set up. And you can shovel if you're not really happy with it. And we can do the same with fonts. So we can go to my brand kit for the fonts. The only thing I don't like is this one, but because you can't read it, but that's what we can fix it here as well. Um, so it will show you font options and you can pick your own fonts and the same with colors. And then you click finish and it will make all the images for you. So now I can say, see my collection. And I can either um, immediately download all of these or I can do some small tweaks. So I can click and open one of them and then say, okay, the text, I want that to be white, for instance. It will show you that it's now white. 
I really like this first hack because it makes making different sized images so much quicker. But sometimes I just want to use the same style of image over and over and over. For instance, for my Pinterest pins. I want the same layouts every time, but I want it to be specific to my blog post um, with different text, of course, but also different images. So that brings us to hack number two, using templates. This hack only works, unfortunately, if you have a Canva Pro account. So if you don't have a Canva Pro account already, and after watching this, you're like, I want this too, check out my description. There is a affiliate link for Canva Pro. And if you sign up through this link, it won't cost you anything extra, but I will get a small reward. And that helps me make more videos like this for you. If you want to use templates, then we first make several pin designs ones that we really like. And to do that, we are opening a new Pinterest design in Canva. So we're going to say Pinterest, Pinterest pin, create a blank Pinterest pin. And now we can see all these designs here and we can pick out things that might work for us. So maybe we want to do this one and this one and this one. Things that we think, okay, these would be nice to uh, use as our Pinterest pins. Um, you can also, of course, completely start from scratch and make your own design. So now what you can do with these is make them fit you. So if we go to design and then to styles, we can say, okay, we want to use the colors of Digitali um, and we want to use the fonts. And then if we don't really like it, we can always change it. So I can say, I want to use Ninino here. And we can do the same here. We can say, okay, let's see which designs it can come up with. So once you have designs that you're really happy with and you're like, okay, next time I can just add in the text here and I can add in the image and make it work for my blog post. Then you go here to share and you say brand template. And you click that and you publish it. And now it's saved to a special place for all of your brand templates. And you can see that here, your content brand templates. And as you can see, this is only for pro. So you have the crown. It will show the new brand template that we just made. Um, I would probably recommend giving it a good name, like pins for blogs or something. And then you can use that. This doesn't just work for Pinterest. It also works for testimonials or quotes or social media posts in general. And I use it a lot for that. But there is a third hack that is especially cool for testimonials or quotes or anything where you have loads of text that is the same for each image. And that is bulk create. Let me show you this awesome hack. So to show this, let's make another social media post. And we're just going to say a Instagram post and we're going to find a nice quote design. So let's say quotes, this one, for instance, and say that we want to add in a author. And of course this is my handle. So once we feel like this image fits our brand, we can use Bulk Create to make a lot of images with quotes. So to do this, um, you will collect all the quotes that you want to use, or in the case of testimonials, the testimonials in a Google ex um, spreadsheet or a Office Excel sheet um, with the fields that you need. So in this case, the quote and the author of that quote. And then once you have that, you click file, download, and then download it as a CSV or save it as a CSV if you're using Excel. Now, if we go back to our Canva and we go to apps, you can search for Bill Create. It will not come up for me now because I already have it here, but if you don't, 
it will show up here. You can also just look for bulk. And then this is the really cool part. You say upload CSV and we're going to upload those marketing quotes. And then it says, okay, there's two data fields, the one with the quote and then one with the name. So we click on, this is our quotes. We click with our right mouse and we click connect data and then say, okay, this is the quotes. And we click again, right click, connect data and say, this is the author. And then you can just click here, continue and then say, okay, I have all these quotes. I will make images out of all of these. And you just say, generate pages. And now it has images for all your quotes. As you can see, some of my quotes are too long. So my author is getting a little bit buried underneath the quote. But yes, I now have 12 images with quotes. The only thing I would recommend is making a few designs and bulk creating each of them. And you can't do this in one file. You can't just make multiple designs and then say uh, bulk create and it will make multiple designs for each quote. Um, you can make a design and then do bulk create and pick a few of the quotes, or you can bulk create for all of the quotes and then make a new design and bulk create all of those again. And because you then have different designs, you can play a little bit with it when you're posting it. So those are the three hacks to speed up your content creation with Canva. There are a lot more really cool things you can do with Canva, for instance, to make reels. And if you would like me to show you that, let me know in the comments below what you would want to learn and what I can make for you. And don't forget, if you don't have Canva or Canva Pro yet, I have a link in the description below that you can use. And if you're thinking, well, it's really cool that I know these hacks now, but I don't know what to make for my social media content, check out the two links in the description below that will give you tips on, first of all, 30 content IDs that you can make. And secondly, the six different content types that you need to have for your business. If you want to make your blog post process quicker before you start making visual content, check out this YouTube video over here or check out this video that YouTube thinks you will really like. And I will see you over there. Bye.